Hello friends, in today's question, what is the maximum value of force F such that the block shown in the arrangement does not move? So these are the four options. This is a block having mass root 3 kg. Coefficient of friction is given as 1.2 root 3 and force is applied at an angle of 60 degree. So let's draw the free body diagram for the block. So force is being applied at angle of 60 degree. So let us, so this is our force F. It can divide into two components. So this will be 60 and we can have this will be our F cos of 60 and this will be F sine of 60 there will be a normal N and a frictional force FR and also in the downward direction we are going to have Mg where M is root 3 so it stated that the block should not move for block not to move it should have been equilibrium horizontally as well as vertically it should be in equilibrium in horizontal and vertical direction so let us one by one discuss about the horizontal as well as the vertical equilibrium okay so for vertical equilibrium We can say that n in a proper direction in a downward we have two forces mg and f sin 60 so you can see n is equal to mg plus f sin of 60 m is our root 3 this will be root 3 g plus f sin of 60 And similarly, we can write for horizontal equilibrium. For horizontal equilibrium, towards right we have a force F cos 60, and to left we have friction FR. We can say that FR is equal to F cos of 60 we can find out our fr fr will be equal to mu into n and we already know n so you can say but fr is equal to mu n therefore from here we can say that fr will be equal to mu n is given as root 3 g plus f sine of 60 okay. now we are going to use the equation let us call this as equation 1 and substitute value of fr from equation 1 we get mu root 3g plus f sin 60 is equal to f cos of 60 and if we substitute the values mu is given as 1 upon 2 root 3 
we have this root 3 multiplied by g plus f sine is root 3 by 2 and this is f and this will be 1 by 2 so we get this as multiplying root 3 across root 3 root 3 and root 3 cancels out so we get this as half g plus f by 2 is equal to f by 2 and g is 10 so this will be coming as 5 plus f by 4 is equal to f by 2 for the solving it we get 2f minus f upon 4 is equal to 5 so from here we can say that f is equal to 20 newton so for this value of force the block does not move for this value of force block does not move so we have that option number a is the correct option okay. we can say option a is correct so this completes the question thank you